Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play EU4 Byzantine Succession. I'm the Musical Gamer, and my co-ruler, Miswan Jr., has passed. I'm the Emperor again over here, which is lovely to see. Uh, we are going to hopefully attack someone over here in the West relatively soon. Uh, I am not scared of Serbia or Bosnia at all. I would be very happy to take their land. Uh, Venice would be the even better target to attack, but they're on Tech 9. We need to we need to tech up to at least match them in military tech before we even think of attacking them. I don't think they have... No, they don't have any military ideas, and we have full quality. So our troops are going to be that much better than them, which is, which is great. Uh, another thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start building a spy network again in Kandar, just so we can make sure we have... Um, we have... The spy network strength. Ooh, we need to fabricate a claim here in Wallachia. While we have the chance. I think we got we got kicked out at some point. Huh. I didn't even notice. I'd actually rather be building over here. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. Um, let's go back to Wallachia. I'm not sure when that happened. But uh, Wallachia, I think, is going to be the, the quicker and easier target. They are giving us trade power. Which is kind of cool. More trade power means more money. Though they're in the wrong node. <laughs> I just realized they're, they're not in the Constantinople node. They are not giving us the trade power we want. We want to we wanna monopolize this node before we think of moving like to Rugusa. I'd love, I would love, love, love as a trade nation Byzantium to maybe move into Venice or especially Genoa. Because these are end nodes. And it would be really, really good. And we're definitely going to be expanding all over the place. I mean, the ultimate goal of this campaign, I, I think uh, Miswan and I have discussed before, was to uh, restore the, whole, the, the, the Holy Roman. No, it's to destroy the Holy Roman. is to restore the Roman Empire, which means we're going to have to conquer everything. Which is why I think as my next ID group, uh, I think would be a very good idea to take... Uh, I would be to take admin ideas so we can get adaptability over here. Lower core cost. Just It's just going to make things a lot easier. Uh, Ottomans are no longer considered a great power. I don't know how they were before. Like, for the last, I don't know how many years. They're, the Ottomans are super weak. Um, What was I doing? Oh, right, Serbia. I will claim you. Uh, Bulgaria has a claim on this province. That is not good. I do not want Bulgaria attacking Serbia. I want to attack Serbia. In fact, I might do that now. Because uh, then I can drag in Bosnia. I can take more land. Take Nice. That's the only thing we can claim as well. Seven development. That's not too bad. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, Patriarch Authority or Admin. The Admin would be nice. However, we don't have any Patriarch Authority. If we get some more Authority, we can maybe start converting. So I'm going to I'm gonna actually make it a priority to get some Authority over here. Perhaps we can get enough that conversion is possible. Yeah, point, minus 0.1%. <laughs> oh, jeez. Almost. Almost. Uh, being able to convert Biga is also a good idea. Autonomy is abysmal. We couldn't even raise it if we wanted to. Uh, legitimacy. Our advisor. Advancement of true religion. Which adds unrest. Not accept the culture. Separatism. Yeah, I think they're going to rebel there no matter what we do. I'm actually contemplating raising maintenance. Why would you build one there? I mean, the money isn't the issue. It's just the time. Ooh. Trade efficiency plus 5%. Yearly corruption. Oh, yearly con That's fantastic. Uh, though, it looks like we don't have any corruption anymore. Which is kind of pointless at this at this point in time. Oh well, and 
fine. It's whatever. Could be worse. We're not paying for rooting out corruption anymore. We're making almost seven ducats a month, which is awesome. Uh, I am actually contemplating raising maintenance and starting to think about going to war. They have Tech 9, though. We're about to hit Tech 9. Oh, great. Parallel Authority. Uh, who do we want to side with here? Uh, I mean, the Burgers can afford to take the... Loyalty hit. A actually, they both are able to take the Loyalty hit. Who do we who do we care about more? Where do we make more of our money? Trade and tax. We make more money in trade now than taxation, so I think we're going to side with the burgers. Which makes me think, is there anything we want the clergy to do? We can't really do anything with them. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we could do this to gain some more patriarch authority. Lose five prestige, five legitimacy. We're actually losing prestige at this point. That's kind of annoying. Uh, meanwhile, this will just give the burgers a crap ton of loyalty. I'd be very tempted to draft ships for war. Or demand Diplo support, actually. That, that would be even better. Or contribution. I mean, hey, I'm not picky. Yeah, let's side with the burgers. Side with the burgers, gain have 80 loyalty, which is nuts. Uh, does not look like we're going to be able to get that extra one tick unless I give them a province. Which... Is that worth it? Is there a kind of crappyish province? Oh god, seeing Constantinople controlled by the burgers. Ah! It's just... feels so dirty. Super, super, super dirty. Uh, we could just give them bigger. No, that's going to increase their influence. No, their influence is going to go too high. Wait, how is it going to increase their influence to 83%? Their influence right now is only 72. I don't understand, game. Why do you Why do you make no sense? Now, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get there feasibly. So let's... Demand Diplo support? We are very far behind on tech. Yeah, I, I think I will do that. Uh, right now, we are getting the development cost minus 10% for having them above 60% loyalty. Do we care about that? I don't know. Drafting ships for war would be really nice. We'll become a, a pretty decent naval power if we can do that. Plus, we have the force limit. Uh, the money would be cool, too, but we're making money. So, you know, I think I'm going to do this. We're going to get five heavies. And they are building them in Constantinople. That is absolutely perfect. Do we have... That's actually a good point. Do we have a shipyard here? No. No, we don't. This is fine. Uh, nobility are trending up. Which I'm just going to have to let them do. Those extra hundred uh, Diplo points is going to go quite a long way to getting us to the next tech level uh, quickly before the institution penalty becomes too big. And I hate having to pay a 19% penalty because it's pretty much destroying all of our modifiers uh, for the most part, but uh, we have to we have to catch up in tech. Okay, we only have oh we only have option for the Pike Infantry, yeah, so I guess no brainer there. Upgrade, upgrade. Uh, what's tech level 10? New cav, new cannons, and increased flanking range. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't see a huge necessity for this. Plus, these guys are both tech 9, allied only with each other. Yeah, I say, I say it's wartime. <laughs> I say it is time to, it's time to kick the crap out of them. All right, yep, let's raise maintenance. We're going to war. Of course we get some improved relations with us in Serbia. Makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. Oh, wait, hold on. We have these Ottoman separatists we need to worry about. Uh, 
Let's see if we can't deal with these. Alright, we'll, we'll hold off on war for a minute. There we go. Didn't even bother to want to watch that one. Okay. Rebels dealt with. There's another ship. Go protect some trade. Uh, reinforce. And we'll declare war. Ah, oh, Venice, you... We can claim another province. We can claim Zeta now. So I think we will. Uh, and we can claim another province here in Wallachia. Great. So we'll call it good there. We'll send somebody back to Kandar to fabricate some more claims. And we'll hold on to this other uh, diplomat so we can declare war. Next month. Alright, let's lower speed. Serbia. Uh, Bulgaria would help us on a promise of territory, but I don't want to do that. I think we'll be able to crush them. Uh, I haven't even bothered looking at their military strength, actually. So, Serbia. Serbia and Bosnia. Bosnia, you have 7,000 troops. And Serbia... Another 7,000. Yeah, we, we outnumber them. Like, almost 2 to 1. Actually, no, we, we, yeah, almost two to one. <laughs> I was about to say, my math was there. My math was a little weird for a second there. All right, Serbia, we're taking Nice. Uh, we can actually co-belligerent Bosnia, which I think is a good idea. Because it'll give us options to take their land as well. We're not at full strength, but I think we're at decent enough strength that... Leaving one troop ain't gonna be a big deal. Uh, it doesn't look like Serbia has any forts, which is interesting, other than obviously their capital. Ah, we can move through Venice. Okay. Uh, what are we looking at here? They have no artillery, we still only have the one cannon, but we're going to match them. Uh, 14 in the front row. So hold on. 14 in the front row. So we'll make that with actual troops. Then have the four cav and the one cannon. Hills. Hills. You're gonna attack me? Alright, that's fine. You take the you take the penalty. <laughs> See what I care. Take the minus two. For terrain and crossing a river. That was not very smart of you. And we rolled a 9. We have a 1341 general. That is actually really good. Who's your general? A 331. That's actually a bit better. Uh, we match in shock, but you have the fire advantage. Fire ain't exactly important, though. Hold the 3. 2 there. Now 4 to their 2. God damn it, don't roll zeros. Jesus Christ, man. That's better. That's better. Wonderful. We did not stack wipe. But I think we're going to be able to in a second. There we go. <laughs> Boom. Stack wipe. Now, who do we want the cannon on? The token cannon. I mean, this fort will fall pretty quickly. Yeah, I suppose that's fine. Now, we don't have enough troops. Uh, maybe we will with the recovery tick. Oh, we only need three for you. So we'll throw in another another unit. Just so we can get all the sieges in all the places. And we'll loot Sarajevo. That's Sarajevo, right? Or Smedrevo. I think that's supposed to be Sarajevo. Uh, no, Ottomans, you're not getting military access. And now all we need to do is wait. 
<laughs> ah, that's that's what I like to see. Six ships to uh, protect and trade. Look, look at this. We're, we're at full maintenance. We're at war. We're making four ducats a month. And we have three advisors, two of which are level two. Yeah, half price maybe, but still. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Uh, we breached the walls over here in Bosnia. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. It's gonna speed that up significantly. So I think then I'm gonna send the cannon over to uh, Branisevo. Build a building. Do we want to build? A, oh God, yeah, build a, build a church over here in Constantinople, please. Get that delicious tax money. Uh, though, then again, we are at twenty-five percent autonomy. That, that, that's probably why I feel so dirty to me. Ah, nope, did not mean to do that. Send you over there. And we'll send these guys home. Uh, along with the cav, actually. If we're going to take this land, I don't want to loot it to smithereens. Ah, eh, can's going to speed that up. A royal influence. The religion in Corfu changes to Catholic... Giving the following effects. Local unrest, but we'll get some missionary strength. Or just change it to Catholic. God damn it. It's because our wife is... Is Catholic and not Orthodox. You must publicly denounce your old faith. What is the, what is the unrest here? We can, we can afford it. Or, oh wait, crap, no, I didn't even think about that. Since the religion changed, we didn't, <laughs> now we have so much unrest. Uh, we can quickly convert it back, though, which we should. Oh boy, I did not think about that. <laughs> Oops. There goes the theologian. Which is actually also not too good, that great, but we're going to be gaining more money now. I think I'm going to go back to, unless I can hire another level 2 advisor from the burgers? No. I can't do that for two more years. You give me a diplo advisor. You give me... I could get an inquisitor. That actually sounds like a good plan. The Inquisitor is going to be great. Yeah, half price, but two instead of one Diplo point, or admin point. Ah, yeah, since we're just waiting on these sieges now, I'll just go back to speed four. Units to suffer casualties. Not surprised. There we go. Bosnia is done. So now here's a question. Do we want to take Bosnia's land? Uh, we'll wait till Serbia is finished falling. Because we're not going to be able to take this land unless we take um, at least these two provinces. We're definitely taking Nice. We need to take Smedrevo uh, if we want to take any of Bosnia's land. Heretic royalty? Uh, Bulgaria's opinion of us changes. We would lose... Oh, we would lose our wife. Hungary will learn of this. Ten years of national unrest plus two. I don't really want to deal with that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I, I don't want to have to deal with all that unrest. Sunni zealots again. Catholic zealots. Bulgarian separatists. But I don't want to divorce my wife and lose 15 prestige. I guess I'll, I'll take the unrest. It's kind of the last thing I wanted to do there. Oh, good. Done. 
Okay, let's think about this. We're going to take Nice, which is fine because we have a claim. Uh, do we take... What happens if we take all the land? Wallachia, Serbia. Serbia won't exist, so aggressive expansion won't matter. Nobody's going to really care. We'll have to spend 96 dip to do this. We'll have 39% overextension. I mean, I don't... The, the only reason I'm really thinking about this, because I wouldn't really want to spend 96 Diplo points on all this land, but the only reason I'm thinking about this is that they are allied only to each other. If I make them weaker, if even if I just take all of Serbia instead of Bosnia, Bosnia's going to get eaten by somebody, and we're going to lose that land. I mean, you get 226 ducats. We'll be able to handle the aggressive expansion with everybody. The Catholic world doesn't seem to really care. Is Bosnia Orthodox? No. Bosnia is Catholic, but their provinces are Orthodox. Which is actually another good reason to take all this land. I think we're going to do it. I'm going to be a little aggro over here. Yep, give me all that land. Uh, tons of money, which is great. And we can core everything, it looks like. No corruption, so no extra costs. Beautiful. And Wallachia is no longer a valid rival. Did we eclipse them? We eclipsed them. Be afraid, Wallachia. We're coming for you next. And we have a fort over here in Bosnia, which is kind of nice. It's not the worst thing to see. And we lost a general. <laughs> oh, God. Ferraro, do I really care? Luca, Luca and Genoa. Hold on a minute. This might be the chance I'm waiting for to attack Venice. Castile, Tunis, Poland, Hungary. Nobody I really want to rival. Why is it forcing me to take a third rival when we only have two ourselves? I wish we could rival the Ottomans or Kandar. I don't want to rival. I don't want to rival any of these people. <laughs> uh, I can't attack Tunis. Or core their land. It's too far away. Or actually, no, it's not true. We could we could core probably this stuff over here. But I don't want to attack them. You're probably allied. You have no alliances, huh? Uh, I guess I'm gonna leave it for the time being. I take this chance though to hire this uh, missionary or this inquisitor, which is actually gonna help speed up the conversion process over here. So February next year, it's going to be converted back to Orthodox. Meanwhile, we have... Oh, me. Why am I already a leader? I'm a 3301. I'm actually not that bad. I don't want myself leading armies, though. I'd rather, I'd rather have a, a long life. Um, let's get the army in place. And Venice, you're... Damn it, Venice is now level 10. Level 10 military tech. Is it... Is it critical? I don't think so. I don't think this that's a critical level. We got the critical level. 9 was a critical level. So it might be worth it to attack. I would love to just take all this land. And actually, I'd love to take all this land too. So, Cyprus, Ferrara, and the Knights, they'd all join in. That, that's quite a large amount of people. Core return. Um, it's 100, 100, 100. 25%, 175%. I think we, we would want reconquest, because it's not like we couldn't conquer their provinces anyway. How is how is their war going? Ooh, what 
it's the wrong way. Just scroll all the way to the top, please. They got their manpower back. Um, it might be worth waiting a minute. Just to see how the war goes. Ah, okay. So this is actually Ferrara's war. Okay, so this is Ferrara's war. We'll just we'll just hold off for a second. Oh, Teutons rivaled me. Uh, they might be the ones I have. I should rival back, but they're so far away. The rivalry is not going to do me any good. Tunis makes more sense than that. What the? Oh God. Ottomans, you're getting destroyed. I mean, meanwhile, we're, we're building all these heavy ships, so we might be able to wrestle naval superiority away from the Venetians. Maybe. Uh, actually, no, probably not. Not until we get closer in Diplotech. At least another level. It's another boat. Yeah, uh, we would be able to probably get to all of the land we need to on foot now. Considering that we have this land now from uh, Serbia and Bosnia. I'm just happy all this land is orthodox, so I don't need to worry about converting it. And it's going to have all the nice unrest modifiers. I just, I don't know what to do. Do I attack? Do I not? I suppose I wait, while I'm waiting, I lower maintenance. And actually perhaps build some buildings. Use this money. Use this money to make his money. Uh, do I... Sophia would be a very good province for another church. As would uh, Bessarabia. And... Achaia? Yes, Achaia. Marketplace. These places already have them. Alright, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, workshops. I mean, Constantinople is pretty much the only place that makes sense to build a workshop. So should I just build shipyards then? I suppose. Yeah, build one there. That is not good. Now Friesland's going to join in the fight. That is less than good. Ooh, Kandar, hello. I want to claim your provinces. Like sign up, which is your capital. Uh, we have a claim on Huda Venegar. There's Venice's army, a 4 2 1. That's actually not too scary because fire is still not incredibly important. Uh, oh, wow, I've been going for a while. All right, uh, that's it for this episode. So, next time on Let's Play EU4 Byzantine Succession, we will we'll decide who to attack next. Uh, I'm leaning towards Venice. I think this war is going to drain more out of them. That, oh, no, wait, no, it's done. Shit. All right, well, we'll reevaluate. <laughs> we'll reevaluate next time. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.